my beauties so today we're going to be doing the whole face with all wet and wild products from foundation to primer to powder eyes lips everything so i know this video was supposed to be up yesterday i did have some camera issues so that's why i'm going to be using a different camera right now so if the quality of the video isn't the best, please excuse it. I am trying to get my other camera to work again. And so hopefully it's going to be still pretty good. And I am really excited to test all these products out. And so I have everything from primer, foundation, powders, eyes. And we're going to do everything from the brand Wet n Wild. So that's going to be exciting. So let's go ahead and jump right in it. So I have no makeup on. I only moisturize my skin with the Caudalie spray. And now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild primer. I actually, some of these products are going to be first impressions. Some of them I have already like used and tried out. This is one of the things that I actually tried out in the past. And it's not one of my favorites. It's just like a regular moisturizing primer. Um, that's not too much pore filling. And it's just really kind of hydrating. But... I don't like the way it smells because it smells kind of chemically so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna just since I already moisturized my face I'm only gonna apply this in like my t-zones where I do have like greater pores or I do get kind of greasy so that's where I'm gonna apply this primer on and since I already um, tried this primer out I don't really like it. It's not one of my favorites. And for those of you guys who saw my like best and worst drugstore primers will know which one is my favorite because I did test out about like 12 um, drugstore primers and I do have my favorites and I do have some preferences over the others. Alright, so now that I primed my face, I will go into this Wet n Wild Photo Focus new foundation that they have. I've heard so many good things about it and so many people rave about it. I haven't really personally tried it out yet. I bought three shades, so hopefully one of these is going to match me. I am going to go in with the darkest shade that I have. So the darkest one is Buff Bisque that I have they were already sold out from like the foundation shades online and in stores so this is the best I could have done you open it up and then it has this like little spatula that you can definitely apply it with and I'm just gonna take that little spatula and kinda apply it all over my face I don't know the exact coverage of this foundation so I'm not gonna go in with too much at first just to see if it's um, buildable or if it's sheer coverage so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take my little beauty blender and then kind of just start patting it in. This foundation definitely has like a really weird scent to it. Um, but it's supposed to be a great foundation. It was apparently tested in like seven different lighting um, conditions. So it's definitely supposed to be like super photogenic. But we will see about the finish. I'm not even sure if this is like a matte or a regular finish. But we will see. So for the actual shade, it did really match me pretty well, even though it might be like a shade darker. I will go in with concealer to kind of lighten up my face, but it did blend really beautifully into my skin. I don't see any patching. Um, it's kind of more on the more matte side of a finish. And so far, I do really like the finish. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into their concealer. And I actually have two of their concealers. I have this highlighting and concealing pen. And then there's this concealer corrupter from the actual um, photo focus line. So I've already used this. This is not my favorite concealer. So I'm actually going to go in with this one right here because I've never used this one before. And because we're doing like the photo focus foundation, I thought, you know, we might as well stick to the line. And so let's go ahead with this concealer. And this one is in the shade Light Ivory. Hopefully it's a good shade just because I did buy these online. Ooh, perfect shade. It is pretty light. And I'm just going to go under my eyes. And this concealer is extremely full coverage. I can already tell. So I'm just going to go on the bridge of my nose a little bit and then a little V right here and then on my cupid's bow. All right. Just to kind of highlight and brighten my face a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and pat that in. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, you guys, this concealer is so full coverage. I'm actually really loving it. Wow. I'm really impressed with this concealer, honestly. It definitely, like, hides my dark circles. It blends really nicely into the foundation. And looking close up, this concealer is beautiful. And I hope it's not going to crease or um, it be too drying. Because honestly, I feel like this compares to like my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer from the drugstore that I always use. And I love the coverage. So hopefully it's going to stay this way. And so what I'm going to do now with the concealer before it creases, I'm actually going to go into the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Press Powder. And I'm just going to take a little brush, kind of like this, and I'm going to try to set my under eyes really quickly just before they start to crease and this powder seems nice too i'm not sure if it's gonna have color or not but um so far so good and then i'm gonna go ahead and kind of sit around my nose and my smile lines and then i'm gonna go ahead and take a bigger fluffy brush and go into the same powder and kind of gently because this foundation has already kind of like a semi-matte finish i'm just gonna gently kind of set my face all over not too much. Now I don't have any contours from Wet n Wild, so I'm just gonna go in. I usually don't contour a lot anyway, so I'm just gonna go into this bronzer and kind of warm up and bronze up my face this way. And I'm just gonna take like a regular bronzing brush and I'm just gonna go in and in like the hollows of my cheeks, on the sides, and then on the parameters of my face. I'm kind of just gonna warm up my face a little bit just to give it a little bit more kind of warmth to it. And then on my forehead just a little bit. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with this shade, which um, I'm sorry, but I don't know what color this is because I actually had this like depotted into my bigger Z palette. But this is one of the more like peachier tones from um, Wet n Wild, one of their individual blushes. So that's what I'm going to go in to kind of give a little bit more life to my cheeks. So I'm going to take this individual shadow and just place this on the apples of my cheeks. And I already love this blush, and I already know I like this blush and the actual shade of it and how it applies because it is in my Z palette. So this is definitely one of the blushes that I really do enjoy. I wish I knew the shade. Maybe I'll try to find it and kind of place it somewhere here on the screen. Um, but it's really nice, and it gives a lot of really kind of natural type of glow to your skin. And then now for a highlight, we're going to go in to one of my all-time like drugstore favorite highlighters and this is the mega glow um powder highlight from wet n wild in the shade precious petals and this is what it looks like it is absolutely phenomenal i'm actually gonna go in with a wet n wild like stippling brush and i'm gonna go into it and just do like on the tops of my cheeks right here in kind of like a c-shaped curve it's actually one of my favorite drugstore highlights overall, so I do really enjoy it. It gives like the most nice kind of subtle glow without it having, you know, different kind of glitters or particles. It's just kind of like more of a glowy look, and I really love it for the summertime. And now since we're done with the base, um, the only thing I realized that I don't really have is eyebrow products from them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into their shadow um, little trio right here that I have and I'm gonna go into like the crease color this is in the shade 38 OB walking on eggshells and this is one of their like eyeshadow kits and I'm just gonna go in with a little tiny brush and I'm gonna pick up this like middle shade right here and try to use that to fill in my brows I don't know how this is gonna go because I don't know how I forgot to actually, you know, get something for the brows. And I might have had a, like a Wet n Wild brow pencil somewhere, but I don't know where it is right now. And I'm just going to try to fill in my brows. This is not too bad of a shade, but I don't know how evenly the powder is going to actually disperse. Okay, I think this is as good as I'm going to get them with this powder. It, it's not too bad. But it isn't like completely um, opaque because the crease shadow does have a little bit of shimmer. But that's okay. I'm just going to leave them as it is. And I'm going to go ahead into this little trio and I'm just going to use these to apply them on my eyes. 
and I usually don't have like a lot of wet and wild shadows so I'm gonna go into this brow bone one and kind of set my whole eyelid because it is more of like a lighter shade I think all three of these are more on the shimmery side so there's no mattes unfortunately which I wish there was some but I'm just gonna make it work anyway so I'm just gonna set my whole lid with this lightest shade right here. Then I'm gonna go in to another Wet n Wild brush that I have handy and I'm gonna go into this like pink one right here and kind of put this all over my lid as well, especially like in the inner portion of my lid. And then I'm going to take another more tapered brush and kind of go into the darkest shade and kind of work on the outer crease right here. Just to darken it a bit on both eyes. Just to give my eye a little bit of dimension. Alright, so now that the eyeshadows are done using this little trio kit, um, it wasn't one of my favorites. There was no mattes in it. Um, the pigmentation is okay, but I do see a lot of like glistening on my eyes just because it is more of like a satin finish in, compared to a matte. But um, it's just going to have to do for now. And now for the actual eyes, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to try this super cool looking um, new mascara that I got. This is the Lash Renegade Mascara from Wet n Wild. I also ordered it online. It has a really cool kind of shape, as you guys can see. Um, so let's see if it's any good. Whoa, the brush tip is really um, different. It's more spiky and it has like this little ball on top. Can you guys see that? That's going to be interesting. I wonder if that's going to help me like apply it to the lower lash line, but we will see. So I'm just going to go in and kind of apply it all over. And I'm not even sure if this is waterproof or not. I don't know. But let's see. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it gave me really long, nice lashes. Can you guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? Like this one has a lot of long lashes which is pretty nice. It didn't really clump either, so that's always nice. So I'm gonna go back in and finish my other eye. Alright, do we see that? Wow, look at the lashes. That's pretty impressive, honestly. For a Wet n Wild mascara, I mean, I feel like this is awesome. Do we see, like, how big my lashes are? They almost look like false lashes. Alright, go mascara from Wet n Wild. Alright, I'm going to try and do my bottom lashes now. Okay, well, what I can definitely say about this mascara is that it gave me extreme length. Um, maybe a little bit of volume too, but the length of my lashes, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, they're long. They're actually like long and nice and wispy. Um, they're not too clumpy, but I really like this actually. Not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm actually going to go in to the Wet n Wild um, eyeliner, gel liner in the color black and I'm just gonna do like a really gentle like side wing and this actually came with the brush but I don't really like the brush because I feel like it's not precise enough. So I am going to grab one of my brushes. All right, and now I'm just gonna try and do like a little wing only on the very edge of my eye. It's not too bad. I feel like it's not as precise or as pigmented as um, my L'Oreal gel or my Maybelline gel liner. But it is definitely more of like a matte finish. So let me go ahead and do the other eye. Alright, so I did go back and kind of clean it up a bit. But that's all I'm going to do for eyes. And for the gel liner, I'm kind of like, eh, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. It will get the job done. So far, I'm really loving the mascara. So that's like a two thumbs up from me. And now for lips, I really wanted to try this Mega Cushion um, a new lip product that they have. This is apparently like a soft matte lip cream and they only have three shades in this available but I really wanted to use it. It comes with a little like applicator um, like a concealer applicator with sponge and then you just kind of squeeze it out. So let's see and apply this on my lips and see what it is. Wow, okay, it gives like this super nice peachy coral tone because there was only three colors. There was like a super vivid purple there was a super vivid like hot pink and then this coral shade and I actually really like this coral shade. 
if you don't apply it too much, this isn't one of my favorite colors, but it is really nice and comfortable on the lips. I'm actually going to go ahead and blot it a little bit. Okay, and that kind of tones down the color, I feel like, but it is really nice. I wish they would come out with actual wearable shades in this formula because I feel like those would be absolutely amazing to wear. And so now the last thing to do is to actually set your face. So I do have my setting spray from Wet n Wild that I picked up. So let's actually go ahead and set the face. So it definitely doesn't have like the finest mist. But um, I feel like it's an okay setting spray. I do prefer the Milani setting spray overall um, in comparison. But we will have to wait and see um, if this actually, you know, sets my makeup in place and makes it last longer. So that'd be it, you guys. My favorites from this whole full face of Wet n Wild would have to be definitely my highlighter because that's just, you know, to die for. I did really actually enjoy the foundation even though the scent was a little bit off for me, but I can definitely surpass the scent if it gives me a really nice, long-lasting finish. I love this concealer because I feel like it might actually stand up and if not surpass my Maybelline concealer. So this was a definite super awesome product. Um, the powder was okay. Like, it didn't really, like, wow me. It was just like a regular powder. Um, the primer I don't like, period, so that would be a definite pass for me. Um, and also this other concealer would be a pass just because it's not as full coverage. Even though this one would be better for those of you who have like maybe drier skin or like drier under eyes. So that's who I would recommend this one to. I do actually really like the bronzer. The blush was really nice. Ooh, I actually have this like stick blush that I didn't really get to use and I really actually wanted to try to use it and I kind of forgot. But that's okay. I'll play around with it and update you guys. It's kind of more of like a cream blush and I'm not super into like cream blushes so that's why I kind of I guess forgot about it. The eyeshadows aren't like my favorite. I feel like the things that I really did enjoy and love from Wet n Wild is the concealer the mascara, which gave me super length, like as you guys can see, and then the highlighter. These three things would be definitely like my favorites from the whole collection of Wet n Wild products. And so thank you guys so, so much for joining me today and for hanging out. I do hope this kind of gave you an idea of what some of the products do. And if you did enjoy it, do give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as you guys know, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, superlady246. And so thank you guys once again for hanging out. Lots of love from me to you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.